nice little winter phase. Because, you know, it's getting late in the year and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to be wandering around Scotland in the winter. Not when you've just taken a nice castle. A nice warm castle from... <laughs> Seven Deadly Brothers. Also, there's a bit of a burial to deal with. Just put them all... Uh... Okay, let's actually do a proper burial because I... undead is always a problem. May or may not be always be a problem. Apparently, it's say... always a problem. Well, you know, you, you go for a disrespect. You, you, you try to disrespect the, the, the memory of the person you just killed, and then next thing you know, you have revenants, ghasts, zombies. It, it's always a pain in the ass. I'm more worried about properly burying the member of our party who died. Yeah, I think that's oh. what I meant. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that person. <laughs> that person. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That person. Ooh. What do you say? Is I dug, I dug a, uh, we dug a big pit and put twelve bodies in. What do you mean by twelve? I thought there were eleven of them. Oh wait, <laughs> go back in, pull the other guy out. Uh, who was it who died? Aria. Oh yeah. So uh, um, Aria died. I'll assume Gideon knows the proper pagan rituals. But out of respect, it. I won't force her to. Have a we burial. we bar we we bury Arya in a vertical grave in a uh, vertical grave because we know what would happen if she died on horizontally. Oh God! <laughs> what? Honestly, I'm more interested in just sending the body home so that she can be you know, uh, brought back. Do you really want to do that? No, you don't. Unfortunately, I think Satoni will have the um, kind of uh, final say in that. Yeah, and you know exactly what Ignia would do. He's probably halfway there already. <laughs> <laughs> For the note, like, Gramps, Grandma, Mom died. Fix um, it. Fix it, yeah. Never quite the same when they come back, but she keeps trying. Eh, you know, she's about. 89% there. Anyway, because you're settling down, let's have a winter phase. Radio. The um, kind of income part won't matter that much because you're not going to... I'm going to assume that just kind of ticks on okay. You mean things that don't go horribly wrong when we're not there? Well, they might, but, you know, I'm assuming whoever you leave behind will be able to deal with it. I got yeah, my steward has stewardship 20, so we're fine. Yeah. You're fine. The Daster household, I mean, the the, the Stir household has always been a bit in Stir. What am I looking for here? Oh, yeah, I'm looking for the Pendragon PDF so I can look this up because I have not committed this to memory, I mean, no matter how many games he played. 19 sessions now. Damn. Yeah. That's 19 weeks, or plus weeks he jumped over. Yeah, there's quite a few weeks where we missed out. We had that bad period a few months ago. <laughs> well, just everyone, it was summer. Everyone gets busy during summer. It gets to winter. It's like, oh, it's cold out. Not going out. Right, if you'd like to start with your experience rolls. I mean your aging rolls, right? Experience, because you, if you got any crits oh. in last, last year. I crit my spear and I... I think I crit my sword before. So, we yeah. are. Nope. Nope. Let's see. I, keep, I don't have access to my lists or any of the other stuff. So, none of that. Uh, what did I. Oh yeah, I critted Lance and Sword, didn't I? So Oh hell yes, another point of sword. Yeah. Mm. Nineteen sword. Very nice. Yay. All the stabbings. No, but there's also slashings. And in painting, as I assume. Mm hmm. Alright, mm. so. And that's uh, it for me. 
think that's it for me. How did I have so many? I wasn't paying attention to them. Where is my son, I guess? Passion, <laughs> but passion family. Yeah, have you guys rolled your passions as well? Well, yeah. yeah. Alright, I did uh, do honor, so that's... Oop. And I think I did loyalty lord, which is also no. Yeah. Oh yeah, done luck. So we need to roll down or above this? Above. You need to fail it. Well, I failed it. I'll put one more in it. Yay, I am now at 10-10 dumb luck. And uh, passions are going up, they don't start. They're not like 10-10. Like I, I, I know, I know. I'm at ten. I'm at a fifty-fifty. I'm at a fifty-fifty chance to actually have luck be with me or against me. <laughs> well, I'm just saying luck. I'm saying the fates. I'm half and half too. They generally like a good like a good laugh, so they favor an idiot. <laughs> that is true. All right, now we get onto the lovely aging girls. Everyone likes to get old. Um, I have a wound, so that's Ooh. Cool. Uh, one. Can you coin aging rolls? No. That's one, three. I already made my aging roll above. Yeah, it's fine. Remember, you get your extra depending on how old you are if you're cursed. Uh, how many? Um. If you're 25, you just start making AG rolls. 35, you get one automatically uh, statistic loss roll. Uh, 45, 2, 55, 3. So glad I died before that happened. <laughs> that means that I'm rolling two dice then. Let's see, that's two and four, so dex and constitution. As much as I complain about it, Merlin did me a favor. What, killing your character? No, killing me before uh, before he cursed me. He's like, God damn it, I did the other way around. Whoops. Wrong way around. Yeah, he did kill your character before the curse was laid, so yep. you weren't yeah. there to get it laid on. Okay, so... Um, well, it could have been much more dramatic. He could have cursed the Earl of Salisbury. Hey, wait a second. Igmir's here. Hey. That would have been, you know, a, a, grander, a grand more grandiose reason to send us out. I mean. Anyway, that drops my dexterity and constitution down to uh, thirteen each. Huh. I'm get I'm getting really unlucky. Ella Duke now has an appearance of only five. Yeah, Ooh, getting, shit! You're getting close. Gnarled. Yeah. You have a gnarled, gnarled face. Uh, well, thankfully I can pump that up, but still, that means I'm not training other things. Oh wait, 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 wait! You have you have, you have low, low ap uh, appearance, right? Yeah. So that means you could take negative, um, negative uh, appearance traits like those, like you know, the descriptors that we never really paid attention to. Yeah. Well, so, he's a, he was. A, I already had fat, and he has a large birthmark over his face. So now I'm just going to add severely wrinkled. <laughs> No, um, how about, uh, liver spots? Okay. Or, wait, so he was fat. If you were scrawny, I would say you would probably shriveled up like a grapefruit and, you know, have this constant, uh, look of dyspepsia, but, eh, liver spots if you're the other way around. Alright, so that's appearance problems. Um, what else is there? Uh, after aging. Yeah, we do the uh, skill set. Or is it yeah, economic services, that's the skip. Stable roles we won't worry about. Family roles we won't worry about. Uh, uh, roles for your children, though. So. Alright. Yeah, did we. You mean having children or surviving children? Well, you won't have children, so surviving children. Okay. Um, I have no male survivors. And as I said, you have an Feel internal amount eight. of female, just, uh, what do you call this as well? Mm. Female so relatives. One of Arraz's kids dies. Um, kid number four. 
I have an 18 year old son now. Yeah, same here. Getting so close. Remember, we only have a couple of years to train them up before you set them to fighting each other. Hmm. As we try to pad the Arthurian, let the Pendragon legend. Because, you know. Cornwall. Actually, how do you fail a battle, Gray? Like, in the rules. I mean, besides everyone getting knocked out. Um, it tends to be the battle so far. I've had a set winner. Oh, okay. So it's not like you connect. That's kind of weird. Yeah. If it had a set winner, wouldn't it have been like Arthur wins, but you know, wins his wins the war, but we win the battle, but he wins the war. Type so deal? Actually, Arthur's supposed to kind of lose the first battle, I think, or oh, with he, the oh. with the first battle, but they'd have to fight a series. So that that year was supposed to be like. Four or five battles in between. Mm. And we decided no. So, yeah, that I just kind of switched it around to the one big battle. Because yeah. once you got in there and took him out. Well, once we got to the other end, it's like, oh, you, you lot are still alive. God dang it. You fight Arthur, Arthur falls over. Well, if we it's quite hard to kill you. Well, you know, not really. Well, if we got knocked out, we probably would have just been captured, and then the, the legend would go on as is. Mm -hmm. And we'd be on the reluctant outskirts, and you know, royally shot upon. All right, training and um, whatever practice. Okay, one more thing. Can I get one last round of roundabouty on these rules? Which rules? Uh, the training and practice rules. So you can go... Um, <coughs> just move that aside out of the way. Uh, you can gain 1d6.1 1 in skills. Or up you to may, 15, I believe. Up to 15. Or you can gain 1, one point in skill up to 20. Or you can improve a trip you play to a passion by 1. Okay. I think that I am going to add, uh, and there's also the 1d3 that you can give to one of your people, right? Your squire or whatever? Yeah, you get 1d3 you can give to a, a, an NPC of yours. I don't have a squire gonna put, uh, I'm sure someone's got a spare squire. Oh, where did, uh, where did Tony pack you off to, uh... Yeah, we were asking this, guy. um, funeral. What would you have done with the body of Arya? Uh, probably make some attempt to get it chipped back. Home. You are going to be ripe when you get home, though. No, no, we put it in a box, and I sent someone to take it home for me. No, yeah. the the though your body is going to be ripe. You're going to send them home in a pickle jar. Yeah. They did Pickle do that king. occasionally. Yeah, yeah, they the did. Occasional king, the occasional king insult. Like, no, actually, they uh, did that once to uh, preserve the body so that they could be laid in state properly. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm, it. I'm just going to bury her here and tell, Bob about, or tell Grandma about it. Uh, <laughs> so we were right. I told you they were, that he was going to do that. Yeah, we were right. <laughs> bury her in a uh, vertical shaft. All right, I'm putting uh, right. 1d6 plus 1 into gaming. Okay. Is Aladu getting a, uh, getting a <laughs> habit? 1d3 yeah, on yeah. my son into spear. Yeah, um, Aladuke is just running around, like, trying to make himself prettier. Oh my god, the age is showing... Quick, get me some good foundation. <laughs> yeah, I need I need some black hair dye and some <laughs> some eyeliner. You can't you 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 boot black your hair. Yeah. <laughs> and so forth. Yeah, like grow grow it out a bit so like my bangs are covering part of my face. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to increase storage 16. Yeah. Unfortunately, Tony's kind of got to get started on all that, the whole arming himself up. He gets to get started at it at 18, though. Yeah. He gets a couple years head start. Yeah. Or no, 17. That's right. As long as he doesn't die horribly. I hope he doesn't die. Well, he has 30 health, so... He's 9 health more likely to not die as Arya was. <laughs> Crits in this game, they happen. Yep. Oh. It's all it's all fun and games, and then the GM crits and your character just dies. Ah, uh, fun and games. Right, everyone sorted? Yep. Yep, glory totals. Just don't don't add my uh, don't add my estate glory because I don't I don't know that I'm a uh, head the estate yet. You guys literally got me before that before that happened. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I need to make a separate column for Aladuke. Yeah, Aladuke's yearly tick, he has two traits over 16, and he has one holding, so it's 38. Uh, so, 38 total. Yeah, plus whatever he gets for killing people. Uh, I have to say, Gray, this whole game must have been a very enlightening uh, exercise in spreadsheets. <laughs> I, you, you are a better man than me, Sarah, for this. It's almost like he's playing Eve. Yes, but we're playing Eve before Eve was made, so it's like a bunch of nerds on a Skype call with spreadsheets about what they're doing with their spa yeah. imaginary spaceships. Great. That is so close to what we're doing, it's almost yeah. depressing. Uh, great. <laughs> yep. So that you know, for Tony, I have two stats above six at 16. Nah, think of Eve, think of Eve if it was a mud. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> And you clicked, you, you clicked highlighted names and brought you to spe the spec spreadsheets of, a, of a, other spaceships. And it's like, I go to this, I type, I go to this sector, and you go to that sector, and people are talking, and right. stuff like that. So, sort it out. Merrick, you're at 11,809. So, Aladuke, how long ago were you knighted? Um... He was knighted in 510, so... Yeah, so right, right, I just need to do that. Um, I, I calculated what it was uh, last year, so... Uh, last, like, at this... Uh, it was 2418. At, um, yeah. That's what it was at the end of 510, so... Yeah, one second. So my mouse has gone wrong somewhere then. Hmm. Well, he inherited a bunch from Arouse, and then he gets bonuses for his father's office, and... Well, your Arouse isn't dead yet. Right, but I, I thought the rule was you get one tenth of whatever it was when when he, when he, the son got knighted. So yeah. All right, I'll make you at um, two three eight five. Two three eight five. Yeah. Oh. Do I have? Uh, Basta. Sorry, Dasta. <laughs> I'm sorry that I have a name in this game, Gray. No, it just means I haven't updated my sheet there. <laughs> um, make you at 1733, Tony yeah. 7, 718, and Gideon 13664. Two off. God damn it. <laughs> Although technically Tony's doesn't appear till next year. No. 
Sir Tony of what? What's your title? The Iron King of Wales. Ah. I, I was hoping, again, we're just going to think of this as the Tiger of Wales. Because cereal beats, um, well, cereal, cereal beats, uh, you know, serialized book, my brain. I mean, at least the way he's writing, it would at least be serialized because I keep going on and on. Alright, so, let's go on with the next year. So yeah, we, we went during this castle that we took by brute of force from some knights that didn't really have much um, tr <laughs> that weren't very meta up on the meta of dealing with like oh. prophecies well yeah they did a good job they weren't up on the meta of dealing with player characters I mean, no, they did a pretty good job at that, too. That, that's true, yeah. Yeah, Actually. they did knock you, beat you to surrender and then kill one of you. So, yeah. And then we came back and killed them. Well, more or less like we got let out of our cells by... Yeah. Uh, by the by, washerwoman. And we're given <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been the end of the campaign. You just rot in cells for the rest of the Because <laughs> none that, of you have any um, like, unknightly like, escape skills. That would have been really embarrassing. How do you get on nightly skeet skills, uh, steep skills, Gray? You can get one point in a non nightly skill per year. Well, you have to do that in lieu of doing training and sword. Yeah, so basically, you can just literally go, um, yeah, I'm going to do my like lock picking. 20, year, 20 <laughs> years of lock picking? Yeah, you basically, to get anything anywhere near a chance of succeeding, you have to spend five, six years just doing that. Oh, and that's still pretty pathetic. This game is. This game only. Uh, this game is very railroady. You're only allowed to be one thing. And that's not there at night. It's like being yeah. stuck as a fighter in D and D. Yep. Which is why we kind of. You can also. There is ways of learning magic in this game, but they are uh, immediately NPC basically. Yeah, you become a magician. Oh, you're no longer a knight. It is a game about knights. It does what it does. Well, but yeah, it's not a game you'd want to play for five years. Well, somebody probably wants to play for five years running, but I think we're kind of like playing it out to a decent end here. Mm hmm. So we met, okay, so we had Pride, we had Cruelty, I mean, we, we made sorry, we had um, Test of Temperance, Test of Martial, what you call it, and I think that's a test of uh, Valor, I think. Would you say, Gray? Yeah. Alright, so getting back on the road. Right. Yeah. On the yeah. road again. So, after, we yeah. Had fresh coconuts. Fresh coconuts, yeah, yeah they, you found a nice store of coconuts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, gonna keep you going for a long time. <laughs> They're so it's useful. England. It's a tropical fruit. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you're getting up. Towards Hadrian's Wall now. Um, another week's gonna pass in your journey. Hmm. So right. I'm actually gonna say you're actually now coming up on a year. You, you're 42 weeks into your campaign. <sighs> but you know, it's not that much of a worry for you. I'm sure you're not gonna get lost or like, you know, kidnapped again. It will happen. Yeah, <laughs> the fates are going to well fail us out well. again, aren't they? Yeah. The fates have a have something in store in stir for us, so you know they can't let things not happen to their whim or will because that would mean they would invalidate their entire position. So you know, yep. they prophesied that those people would be defeated by knights on the road, and so they had to be defeated by knights on the road, so they made sure they were defeated by knights on the road, even if they had to take a more direct means, because if world is, if the world is not predetermined or destined, then how will we have any order in our lives, right? Thinking way too deep into this. Hey, look, well, the shining white knights on the road ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> everything is pre-ordained by God. 
Yeah. <laughs> or the GM. Which is for you as far as you're concerned, it's the same thing. Well, this is this is just a philosophical debate that's going along as we go we go on the uh, main road. It's been a very long two weeks on the road. <laughs> oh come on! What else was there to do in uh, in the medi- in medieval times than debate philosophy and not die of the plague? We, we could ten. sing. <laughs> it's been a very very long two weeks on the road. <laughs> 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 But I use ahead of you, it's a figure in white, mounted upon a horse. Um, you cannot really pin down. It's kind of an indistinct figure. Do, does it have a staff? No, it seems to be a knight. Ah, uh, I was about to say Gandalf. Uh, it it's to... a white knight. Yep. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> have you read this part of the book? <laughs> no, better gaming. It uh, begins to charge towards you. As it gets closer, you realise it's basically a small giant on a massive horse. (laughs) Oh. What's with knights and charging people on the road here? I will cry out Deus Vault and make the sign of the cross before I charge. Okay. You have a picture of this knight, Gray? No. Just, uh, just to, as you say, that bit where Gandalf climbed in Lord, you know, Lord of the Rings and Gandalf comes over the hill glowing. Just imagine that. With, just with less beard. With less beard? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Uh, I pass my love god passion. Okay. Um, you want a lance roll? No, I don't bother. You're, you're the Christian one, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. Um, so, your clash um, shields, you know, lances and shields, and at which point the knight will bow towards you and move on. Uh, I will ask him to halt and ask if he needs company on the road. He will just ignore you and carry on walking. Is That's he going right. the other way than us? Oh, wait, yep. walking. Well, uh, riding. All right, fair enough. <laughs> well, yeah, no worries, yeah, you know how we've been talking. You don't actually own any horses. You're just walking on with someone behind you. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's a, a nice, easy 250 glory. Hooray. Because that's the angelic knight you just met. That crosses me a glory threshold as well. <laughs> yep. We, we we didn't really meet him. He just kind of ran past. Yeah, but he would have killed any other one of you. Well, he didn't really have to kill us. He could say, "Cheerio, something chaps. How you doing?" Well, he's got a um, lance skill of thirty nine and does ten d six damage. Holy! Well, <laughs> but he has a special uh, power: be defeated by a Christian knight. Uh, he always <laughs> loses graciously without dealing uh, damage as long as he's met, met by a Christian knight. So if any of the others of you had gone up against, I would have done this. Crit. He crits. <laughs> this, this game seems very biased. Holy frag. <laughs> and that was a terrible roll. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> so now it just saved your lives. That and the being and that and the devil. I think something uh, is 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 very. Uh, what's the, the devil word? has beaten the. I beat the crap out of the devil by way of uh, critting a uh, a religious score, but still. With a spear. With a, with a religious spear. Yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> now, all the duke is. Aladuke is just muttering quietly in the background. It's like, mm, as, damn, as, damn metaphors. As <laughs> confused. Everybody on the road is a metaphor. Just just wait until the purple knight turns up. <laughs> so the black knight, you have two, three black knights, two black knights, a white knight. There's going to be a grey knight, a beige knight. Plan. And then there's the red Clearly knight that dies the on the first pass uh, and be on a horse foot. with a bow and a pack of pounds. <laughs> no, clearly the Grey Knight's gonna be riding a submarine. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are going into Scotland. We'll have to face the kilt. And then eventually. there's the 
and then of course there's the shovel knight, the <laughs> it's haunted the plague knight, the plague knight, the power knight. Yeah, so let's keep moving on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that Gray hasn't had us fight against the shovel knight though. Yeah, I, I want to keep some yet. sort of um, kind of semblance of dignity you have to do this campaign. Great. You know, we, hey, <laughs> we have killed Arthur, or we have stolen Excalibur, killed um, Merlin, and thoroughly derailed this campaign. I have to say this, Gray. If this is your, your attempts to keep dignity, I, I kind of want to see one campaign where we just throw dignity to the wind. If you ever do Dungeon World, Star be, Star, no, not Star Wars. Star Wars will be a decent campaign. Yeah, we'll say that. We can do Dungeon World before Star Wars if you want to be silly. <laughs> Dungeon, Dungeon World does not have any, uh, yeah, very much to any, uh, like you know, prerequisites towards you know keeping it going. It is a very rules-like game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just haven't read the rule book yet. <sighs> anyway, you, you get experience points for failing, like, constantly. That's your consolation prize. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You have to hit, like, a...